Okay, guys. New investment property. Oh. Don't no mind the door. Okay, guys. So, Jarius and I have gotten a new investment property, and we are super excited about this. If you guys did not see our last investment property flip that we tried to do Airbnb that we ended up selling, make sure you guys go check that video. But this is a completely different project. And truth be told, Jarius was not on board with it at first. He was very nervous because it's a lot of work. Demolition starts tomorrow. It's gonna be my goal to get this done in three weeks. Drop a comment after you see this and let me know if you think that we can make it happen. I'm all down for making money, but I'm not down for a whole bunch of work because contractors in Georgia are trash. And we've been through a lot, clearly. And you guys obviously know that. This is the living room, dining room area. Um, I love this area because it's a lot of natural light. You have a ton of windows and all the natural light. So I'm planning to add in um, a couple recessed lights and maybe a ceiling fan. Jarius told me I couldn't stage it. So you guys won't get to see like it with furniture, but it'll just look completely different. My plan is just to kind of put the TV on this wall. So whoever moves in, I'm gonna put a plug up here for them so they ain't gotta worry about doing that. You're and so generous. I know I'm charging probably like an extra thousand dollars in the list price for that. And here is the dining room. They already have it's like good for a light don't zoom in on those ceilings I hate those popcorn ceilings um, I'm planning to put like a nice chandelier right here and this is kind of where they can have their dining area y'all see the vision y'all following along with me so Jari's gonna take y'all to the kitchen so uh, there's currently a pantry here this is where your fridge is gonna go microwave and your stove this is the dishwasher and your sink clearly as you guys can see there's a lot of work that needs to get done in here it's easier on us to not have to come in and do a whole demolition right you know coming in and being able to just do some little painting here and there, taking out some carpet. But this is a whole demolition that's gonna happen. Tara had this idea of basically taking out this entire wall and making this whole like island for them to like sit, hang out at the bar at. The cabinets are getting redone, new granite, new appliances are coming new flooring, take the, the, the roof out too. Do, I mean like, I mean literally everything needs to be done in here. Yeah, I know, serious. But yeah, so this is the the kitchen area. It's not like overly big, not, you know, like super huge, like, you know, anything that we have at our house. But I think this is going to be perfect for someone who wants to be in the city and wants to, you know, have that condo living. And this is like the little, again, this is the entry area. The fort area. Um, I don't know what's going on with this light or this whole little setup But here. you know what? I will say that I do like having a little, you know, like entrance to the home. So, so it's like- the keys right here, yeah. just drop off the little keys and- This would be nice, like, you know, for them to like, it's like your first impression of the house. So like, I do like this little, you know, area once it's done. Okay. Now don't trip over the tiles too. You know, we don't need no insurance plans over there. Listen, I don't know who was living here or, or what was living here, but it's a lot going on. So this is just your hallway closet. Um, <laughs> We got um, a thermostat from the 70s. I don't hope y'all ain't got those in your house, but that's old, baby. This is just the HVAC closet. <laughs> you are so shady, but guess what, baby? That's okay, because the insurance ain't came into effect yet. This is um, where you can do your laundry. I kind of like this. When we get the new appliances and new floors, I feel like it'll look a lot better, but it's just very bare bones right now. Come in, and this is the first bathroom. Very old tub, super old tile. You know what? Hold on, pause. I'm not gonna say what's super old and stuff because y'all read me down last time when we was walking through the other condo what we didn't like. So I'm gonna just say, my plans are to change the tile. Mm -hmm. My plans are to change the tub and the hardware because, you know, it's not my style. Um, I plan on doing like another vanity because this isn't my style either. Okay. Okay. We have to, I don't know what happened. I don't know what dog werewolf, whatever was in here. But all this trim gotta go. This is the second bedroom. Um, it's no light in here, so the video's gonna get a little dark. It has two closets, which is pretty cool. And I don't feel like I have to do too much to the closets. I feel like I'll just leave it. And we're gonna change the flooring in here. This window is kind of broken, so maintenance is gonna fix that. Luckily, that's covered by the amazing HOA that they have here. Baby, this look like a pantry. This is a nice double closet. This, that is a so shoe closet and a regular closet. A pantry and a closet. The room is, what I don't like is that the room is kind of positioned weird because you essentially have to put the TV here. Because you can't put the TV here. But you know what? I found that some people don't even put TVs in their room. They just like to have them in the, in the living some room. Some people also don't hang them. They just put them on the dresser. 
in the area that we in, I think they need to hang it. But it's just my style, so maybe see, this is to... see this is the thing. Let's come in here with the light. Edge. This is oh, the thing Lord. with with Terrell, right? Terrell feels like everything has to be how he would have it at his house, and I feel like low key you can get yourself into some trouble. For the price, where... the price that I'm listing it for, I'm gonna have to make it like how I want because I'm giving it up my price. Okay, yeah, but you ain't got like some. You ain't got to do that. Like some things, you can just let other people figure out. You ain't gotta like go above and beyond for like a. Uh, but you like a little slum lord. Like you like them investors that uh put some LVP and it's really like some little glue down. Uh no. So what okay, I'm saying I'm is, saying. is that I don't need to go and add a plug that costs two hundred dollars. I just think that I think that okay. So, so when I go into a house, y'all correct me, y'all comment if y'all if you know if you buying a house, an expensive house, condo or whatever. This condo gonna be more than a house. So I feel like if you do that. I think people don't want to move in and be like, okay, well, if I move in, I'm going to have to hire like an electrician to come and run the court, you know, up the wall, cut into this wall. If it's freshly new paint that we're going to have, like, I think that people kind of just wanted to be move in ready. And so I'm giving them these little like tidbits so they don't have to worry about doing that. When we bought our condo, it didn't happen. So it, all it is, is and we you, added it. You cut because you want that. Well, because it was supposed to be an Airbnb first, so it was different, different circumstances. Whatever. This is his vision, y'all. This is his condo flip. I'm also gonna take down all of these. I don't like this. So my style, if you haven't noticed, is very modern. So that's kind of the vision that I be trying to go in. It's like, look at the view. Hopefully they can't tell what this is. But this is just a cute little view, you know? I mean, what what y'all want me to say? Primary bedroom. Y'all so pink, y'all can't even say, I can't even say massive bedroom no more because it's civil rights. Coming in here, um, this is the owner's suite. And Zero, so we it's have- It's so dark in there. Why don't you cut the light on? Okay, the light is on. So you're being funny right now. Well, I'm gonna add another light or should I not do that? Mm -mm. See, you, okay. So <laughs> here's one closet. And then we have another closet right here now. I just gotta show you this way because it don't slide. So don't judge. So now you can see in the closet. Hopefully y'all like that. Then I thought that this is, okay, so the light don't work here. I don't know what's going on, but I got an electrician. This is like, you know, if someone wants to do their makeup, I was about to say a lady, but you know, gender neutral. You ain't have to zoom in on the stains on the floor. Uh, that's all gonna get changed as well. And then you come into the bathroom and it's another sink and mirror area here. Same tile that could be someone's taste. Now, if you pan up here, concert, you will see that it is a big hole. One thing that I neglected to tell you guys is when we got this place, it had mold. Yeah, on top of everything else, it had mold. And we got that remedied, um, remediated. Remedied or remediated? Either or. Um, before we got in here, so that's why you see holes in the drywall, but we got all of that fixed um, before we start anything. So like I said, demolition starts tomorrow, but mold was on our priority list so that it didn't spray. So all in all, I think that it's a pretty good, like, it's gonna be a pretty good flip. Now, what I will say is when I come in here, I do get like a, a little discouraged looking at it sometimes. Like it's so much that we have to do. I know that we were able to flip the last one, kind of make it work through trial. So I think this time, I kind of know where I'm going and what I'm doing. So y'all gonna have to stick around and see. I will what say that that's like, you can do whatever you wanna do, right? It's all about like, if you got the money to, you can turn anything you want you know, around in a house, a condo, whatever, if you're making an investment in it. My thing, which where I differ from Tara, it's more about the level of care and effort that I want to put into stuff. We already booked. We already busy and got a million other things going on. And Tara is just like, whoo, another condo. And you know what? This one, not like just simple stuff that need to be fixed. We going to do a whole demolition, take the walls down, redo the HVAC. Like he, he, when he gets stuff going in his mind, he like, let's just do it. But I will say in this, we did learn a lot from the last situation and I think that you've been very smart going through it all. So I will say that I do think it's gonna be a success in the end. I'm confident in his abilities to be able to flip it. You know, all I really care about in the end is when the money come back to my account. Y'all heard him say, be confident in his abilities to do it. But you you know what, I was I was going through the paperwork and he was like, why my name not on it? It's not mine, I'm not doing this too. And then now he gets on camera and it's just like my ability, now he's messing with his nails. My ability to be able to do something, but that's okay. You know, I love a supportive husband, baby. Don't we all love a, 
a supportive husband. So I feel like I'm gonna make it happen. I'm gonna do the magic like I always do. I know y'all gonna be here to support me and I can't wait to show you guys. I may do a video in the middle. I was gonna say the finished product, but I may do a, a update video. The kind update of... video can be with the final video. No. Yeah. You just trying to rush me. No, I'm gonna give him an update video. It's not gonna take me that long. His vision. That's why I'm taking 75% of the profit. 75, 25. Boy, please. Just because his name on it. Just because I needed check. him. Let me tell you something. I needed him to co-sign because dark. I'm trying to make my next plan. This is just the start. So I'm trying to get my feet wet. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting us. Because of you, we can do things like this. So stay tuned. Enjoy. And we'll be back soon. Bye, y'all.